gum, bus. Get some pressure. Hey, I see Lamar. Hey, Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh. Fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah. Huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. There's more of them coming. A lot more. Moving, guys. Come on. We're walking. Alright. Here come the rest of them motherfuckers. Hey, dudes all up on the wall and shit. Hey, let's stay this side where Michael can cover. We'll take Lamar, but we'll leave you the weed. You got another guy hiding up there? Hey, dog, I'm all right. One crazy fall, bitch. Oh. Appreciate it, bitch. Oh. 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 More niggas on the way. Yeah. You ain't ready for this. Oh, they're gunning for me. Stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit, stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Nigga, a perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got? Yeah, we gon' do something about that, dog. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly, you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress new. Everybody knew stress new. Tanisha knew stress new, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But stress put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? 
Especially with you bringing them into this shit. Alright, alright, but tell me this though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the freak in the first place? He'd go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Stress got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. <laughs> Nigga, so I guess.